Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be changing the current setup that I have. Uh, originally I had an iMac 27 inch, uh, which was great, uh, but ever since using the Panasonic GH5, editing was just really slowed up when I was using Final Cut, and uh, it, just, it just didn't really work as, as well as I wanted it to. I think that's down to the huge file sizes, um, 8 bit, 10 pit, 10 pit? Uh, 10 bit uh, format as well. So yeah, I decided to uh, upgrade the setup. I was thinking of actually uh, changing it for the iMac Pro, but uh, didn't realize how expensive they were gonna be. We've now gone for the MacBook Pro, 15 inch touch bar, all that stuff on it. I'll throw the specs up on the screen now. Uh, but basically what we're doing today is changing the setup. We're gonna be using a HP 34 inch monitor, Toby, who's going to be helping me uh, film and also build the, uh, the setup. And all we're going to do is just, I'm going to give you a quick uh, talk through and a guide of what we're doing. I've basically started um, working on the desk setup. Uh, I sanded back the desk setup. I then oiled the desk setup and then realized I didn't like it how it was. So I then decided to sand it back down again. Uh, so at the moment it's left um, with, with no sort of finish on it and it's just completely natural. Um, I know some people will say, oh, you should treat the wood. I know I should, but um, I'm gonna leave it because I really like the look of it and I'm just not gonna spill anything on it. So, yes. Right, I'm just recording this on my phone, so apologies if the quality isn't that great. This is just starting off with touching up a little bit of paint. Um, I think this is the right stuff. Let's crack on. Right, just before I forget, I actually need to repair this shelf because it's starting to sag. So I need to put some form of like bracing here. Okay, back home. Paint's not dried yet. Uh, we've got these little L brackets just to secure this up a bit better. Well, slightly better than it was, but that'll have to do. Right guys, it's day two. All the paint's dried. It's looking quite nice. Nice blank canvas. All I'm gonna do now is remove this old uh, USB hub, get all this horrible sticky stuff off, Got get all these wood stains off. Unfortunately, it's marked the paint there, so I'm gonna have to leave this out um, until I get the monitor, and then uh, once I get the monitor, I can then put the cable back in through and then touch that back up, because if I just put this back in now, um, I'm only gonna mark the paint again, so, bummer. Okay guys, all right, we're now in the process of sanding it down, I have taken off the old USB hub and I have taken out the wire which I had to take this panel out here to do. Um, yeah, so let's do a little time lapse on rubbing this down and then we're going to treat it with some wax. Ciao! Okay guys, so we have now sanded it all back. It's looking really nice, really clean. Just give you a quick. There you go. All of the like marks and stuff have all been sanded out. I've managed to get I've managed to get most of these marks out here and just along there. I'm just gonna finish it off now with this wax stuff that I've managed to find in the shed. Hopefully it'll do the trick. Okay, now we're all varnished up. Looking good. Next thing to do 
is up in this cubby hole area is I've got I put like loads of games and crap and stuff and I just want it covered because it looks a bit messy so I'm gonna put like a blind in not sure how it's gonna look but that's next on the agenda Well, I've just managed to f***ing break it. Grant. Right, let's get straight into it. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? We're pumped. We're going to start firstly by uh, just going through the cables that we've bought. So we've got USB-C cables, USB hubs, all that sort of stuff. Uh, they are all by a company called Dodo Cool. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not, uh, you know, they've not given me their products. Uh, I basically just saw them on Amazon and they were dirt cheap. Uh, I bought one of their products, checked it over, uh, which was actually this little USB-C hub, which just goes into the side of the MacBook. Uh, I bought one of their products. I was really, really impressed with it. And uh, from then on, I thought, let's, let's try some more. I then bought loads of their stuff. I think I've bought like eight or 10 things. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be using all of that in the uh, all of So yeah, let's video. just go for a quick run through of all the cables we've got. And uh, then we'll unbox the HP NV monitor. I'm fucking jacked. Like jacked, mate, on steroids. Let's do this. Oh, should we do the old transition swipe? James Matthews, you'll fucking love this. So everything here is going to be going on the setup. This in here is basically an, an Apple Watch charger by Dodo Cool. I'll quickly show it to you. It's also finished in like a space grey. I am rocking the space grey. I don't know if you guys have uh, realised that. Uh, if some of you follow me on Instagram, you'll, you'll, you'll already know that. Okay, so to start off things, so here we've got a USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, this is also uh, 3.1, so it's uh, faster transfer speeds. It's also like a braided material, kind of like a space gray as well. Thought that was really nice. Another one here. That's exactly the same. I bought two of them just in case. All of the... Uh, prices and um, links will be in the description of everything I've used. Like I say, that is the Dodo Cool USB-C to USB-A cable. Here we have another Dodo Cool cable. and uh, This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Again, it's braided, 3.1 fast transfer speeds. Link in the description. This here isn't actually that interesting. Uh, but it was a good price again. This is a six-way uh, UK uh, like plug uh, and it's also got two USB ports uh, But yeah, that's really nice and I think we're gonna try and put it in the setup today We've already got a PowerPoint down there, but if we're trying to support this brand then we might as well install that as well Okay, we've also got a USB-C hub for the MacBook Pro This here is really, really nice. Aluminium again, fully fully aluminium with a plastic, well, of course, plastic base to it. Uh, you've got USB-C port, HDMI port, a USB-A port, which is a, or a 3.1 speed, micro SD card slot, a SD card slot, and then two uh, USB-A ports as well. Yeah, finished in the space gray, matches the space gray theme really, really well. Quite pleased with that. This one here, this is the USB-C 
to USB-A hub. So this is just a bunch of USB-A um, ports with a USB-C uh, on the end. Uh, I forgot to mention as well that uh, both of these hubs support power delivery. So if you were to plug in uh, a power source into this port here, you will actually charge your Mac, which is great. Again, space gray, aluminium, really nicely finished. Um, my, my opinion of Dodo Cool at the moment, that they're, they're really, really good, really nice quality products for quite an affordable price. So this one here is like, it's a, I'm not gonna lie, this is a naff looking key ring with an iPhone cable in it. But I'm not here for the key ring, iPhone lightning cable. Finally, this is a freebie. This was actually a deal on the Amazon website. This is a USB-C to USB-A hub and it's tiny. So I won't be using this in the setup because of obviously all the hubs that we've got. Uh, but if you're on the move and you forgot your hubs or something, this is an absolute banger. Uh, we're now gonna move on to the actual desk setup. Toby, if you wanna pan over, mate. So this is the desk setup at the moment. It is not a good look. Uh, obviously there's no screen or anything there, but we're now gonna absolutely smash this, get everything uh, wired up and uh, get to work. So, let's do it. We are on autofocus 4K, I don't know if that's doing me any favours. Right, this is Mr. Knight. Uh, we're now gonna get the monitor, we're gonna haul it in, and we're gonna unbox it. Let's smash this. Guys, just a quick overrun of what this actually is. This is the HP 34 inch monitor. Uh, it's got built-in Bang & Olufsen speakers. Um, I don't know a huge amount about it because um, I just can't find any YouTube reviews or anything on it. Jonathan Morrison actually done a review on it. It was, well, it was like a desk setup, um, and that was the one that made me basically buy it. So what are you saying? You reckon? I reckon you pull this and it slides out from the top. Okay. So. Okay, so it looks like at the moment we've got two accessory boxes. Um, what do we do? Do we look at these first or do we just get straight to the real good stuff? Apparently. Just to reduce the uh, finger marks. Toby, that's yours mate. This one is mine. Okay, so here it looks like there's, there's like loads of cables. Loads of cables and I don't think it's even necessary. Uh, we've got a display port cable there, a HDMI cable there. We have Oh, this is like one of these weird like USB, USB 3.0 like printer style cables. Uh, that, that's my dog. This here is like a, a wall mount, so you can mount, mount it on a wall. We won't be doing that today. Here we have a USB-C cable, which is great because that's what we're going to be using on the Mac. Uh, and then some sort of like Torx or like Phillips screw bit. And the other box we've got so it looks like we've got an adapter here and it looks it looks hideous. Um, I'm not a fan of like massive power bricks, but I suppose if that's what you've got to have, that's what you've got to have. Um, bear in mind, it's probably actually this big because you can power the MacBook off of this monitor as well. So, cool. All right, now we've done that, we are now gonna get straight into building the setup. I'm gonna start putting the hubs down, building the tray to go underneath the desk. Uh, yeah, let's do it, mate. Right, okay guys, we're now recording on the uh, G80, so apologies if the quality's got worse, I just can't justify using all the memory. So this is the current desk setup at the moment. Completely blank canvas. Um, there's a few things we need to touch up all this paint because of all the wax that I put on there. The plan is, is to put this tray underneath the, uh, underneath the desk and then under the desk you'll have these two like sliding runners uh, and then once you've once you once you're actually using it and you're using the, the HBN monitor that you've got over there um, we can just stash this underneath. Um, I think I'm going to drill a few holes in the bottom of this as well just to help the ventilation. Um, if it's if it's too much of a problem, I'm probably going to put loads of holes in it. I'll probably see how that um, how that fares in time because I am a little bit concerned uh, being tucked under the desk um, that when I'm doing possibly some rendering and stuff, it may get a little bit too hot. So yeah, first thing I'm doing here 
pen, should be using a pencil I know, but um, all I'm doing is just marking each side here and then I'm going to put this piece of wood in just to just to stop the, the MacBook from moving around so much. So, okay, and then we're just going to have a wood there, a piece of wood there and two pieces of wood there and that will just stop it from uh, sliding around and keep it nice and snug. So we've currently got Toby sanding down the uh, the box there. He's just basically like prepping it up because there was a few like rough edges on it. I'm now cutting down uh, the pieces of wood to then uh, screw into the box. Okay, guys. So what we're doing now is I'm just gonna I've drilled the holes for where I need to put it for this piece of wood. Uh, I'm just gonna. As you can see, Sam's just crawling out of the bedroom and he's reversing back in. <laughs> reversing? Yes, I am a car. Yeah, as you can see, I've just countersink all of the screws in there. Quite a nice, neat little job. Yeah, it's good. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Yeah. Right, Toby's back on the sanding again. I'll just quickly show you underneath. This is where all the screws are. Okay, right, so we have now got this all ready. There's holes down here and holes down here and holes all along the back. That is purely just to keep everything ventilated and keep it nice and, well, say nice and cool, I still think it's gonna get rather hot. We're gonna put these underneath and then we're gonna mount them to the tray and then you'll be able to slide the tray in and out on these blunders, there you go, that's the ones. So, let's get them bolted up. Right, so now we have made the runners, we have bolted them on the side of the tray, uh, just on both sides there. Now the plan is to fit it underneath here, and then, yeah, this is taking longer than we, uh, than we first hoped, but, yeah. Looking good, mate. You happy? Okay, guys, we have now, uh, we've put the drawer in. We'll, you know, Toby and me will both admit it's not like spot on, but like for how often it's gonna be used, I think it's quite cool. So, with it all shut up now, it sits quite nice and flush. There is a tiny gap, and that's purely just to allow for the Mac to breathe. Pull it out like that, and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do the, the moment of truth and actually see if the Mac will fit in there comfortably. Okay. She's in. She's stowed away. Toby just being my bitch. Now we're moving on to um, fitting one of the hubs underneath the desk. I put a tiny piece of wood under here so it's nice and flush. I'm just going to put two pieces of Velcro along here. So if I did ever want to remove it, I can do. In case you didn't know, um, I would help with this creation today. Uh, if it wasn't for me, this would all go to shit. <laughs> Move to vlogging mode. I'm really not a fan of this sort of shit, but I need a haircut, I need a beard trim. I'm fully aware of all this. Okay, so basically, Toby has now had to head on because uh, he's whipped, uh, apparently so. Ha ha ha. Personally, Yeah, it's crap. So ditch that, we're, we're scrapping the Velcro. It's not like I really, I'm ever gonna wanna remove it anyway. It's, it's, it's not working. We're gonna go for just some adhesive, uh, double-sided adhesive. Let's try that. Okay, right, Jesus Christ, that took some time. We've now got the double-sided tape on the back. We're now just gonna mount her underneath. This better stick proper. That is spot on. It's like it's glued there, really pleased. We are now using a 
there's nothing in the box. We're now using, I don't even know how you pronounce it, um, uh, Vasion USB-C extension cable. These were also on Amazon, link in the description. Um, they're just these USB-C extenders. So for all of the hubs that I've got on top or whatever that's going on on, on top of the desk, uh, these will be running underneath. I went overkill, I've done it, I bought the Space Grey style again. Completely unnecessary because they're not even going to be on show, but yeah, I was just, I was on one. I was literally finding everything I possibly could that was Space Grey. So obviously now we have uh, fitted the uh, hub which is underneath the desk, we're now going to tidy the cabling up and we're going to put this up so it can go into the MacBook. We are now, uh, we're now back on the J5, we're not recording in some fancy format, we're just basically my batteries are low on my G80 so we've had to switch over to this and I can't be bothered to charge it all. All I'm using to uh, secure all the cables is are these little things and I'm just going to basically tack them all underneath the um, desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving the GH5 low light quality here. Uh, so yeah, there it is. This is this piece obviously stuck here. It does mean that there's going to be three redundant ports on the back. I could still use them um, if I wanted to, but they're just not going to be accessible or easily accessible. Uh, you can't really see it very well, but there's a USB-C port there, HDMI port, and another USB-A port. Again, I've got enough of it all up on the top, so I'm, I'm not too worried. It does seem a little wasted, but it is what it is. Anyway, so moving back over to the cable management, you've got like a cable going over here. Uh, you've got the extender there. Okay, and then moving along here, it's just tacked nice and neatly, and then going into the tray, which obviously is where the MacBook is going to sit. Okay, so now moving on to the USB-A sort of hub, which is going to be here. We have lifted this board up slightly. Let's see, it was completely loose, but it's kind of, yeah, loose. So I've lifted that one up um, just to be able to fit the cable down through this little slot um, in the desk. And now underneath, she's just popping out there. Exactly the same as the other one that we were using before. Space grayed up. Comment below, go on, tell me. Tell me I've got a problem. I'm not scared. I already know. I have a space grey problem. Right, that took longer than expected, but we've now got all of it in there. It all moves nice and free. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, to the next job. Okay, so now we have the USB-C cable that's going to be going to the monitor which is then going to the Mac. Let's get on it. So we've got all the USB-C cables routed. We've got that one there, which is coming from that hub with the SD cards and its stuff. Then we've got that one there for that one there. And then this one here, which is the USB-C cable for the monitor. So there's three things we're gonna put on the back of the monitor now. The first thing being the Logitech USB-A uh, like unifier. This is basically the, uh, it's instead of using the Max Bluetooth, this is a, um, is a unifier where it will work with the Logitech Craft that I've got and the um, Logitech MX Master uh, 2. So this is just gonna plug straight into the back of one of the USB ports. Cool, that one's plugged in. Now the other one is going to be a USB-A to a USB-C, which is the plug for this hard drive. So basically, I will put a Velcro strip, definitely a Velcro strip on this one, because it's not really visible, and I'm definitely going to want to remove this at times. And I'm just going to adhere it to the back of the monitor. Uh, so every time I plug in that USB-C port, that goes to the one underneath. Um, I'll plug in also to the um, to the SSD, which is great. So I'll gain an extra one terabyte of storage. Okay, so the Velcro strips now on the back. I've only put it on the aluminium bit. I'm worried if I put it on the uh, plastic on the bottom half, it might like pull some of the like I don't know like the protective coating off. So we've got the Logitech unifying adapter there, and then the other USB 3.0 port. 
and then you've got the one terabyte SSD just mounted to the back. So now I'm just going to put this LED strip along the back. Um, I'm not going to put it down the sides um, just because these strips, they just don't bend very well. Um, so I'm just going to have it right on the top. The table is basically ready to be uh, screwed back down and I will then uh, tape all around these corners and then re really touch up all of these like bad bits where I've managed to get like wood treatment and stuff on it. Okay so most of it is masked off now. The plan is now is to remove this old horrible hub um, have a nice like paint up down here because it is really scruffy take all this wiring out and we're going to fit the new Dodo Cool one with the USB ports as well. So as you can see this pine wood here doesn't quite match the oak so my plan is to try and put some like wax sort of stuff on it to see if I can make it look a little bit darker so it blends in. Let's give it a go. It is another day. Everything has dried down here. All the paint has dried so we are now going to install this adapter and we're going to trace it all, all the wire all around here nice and neat. Right, I've now cut this piece of trunking size. I'm going to root it all the way down from the top to this plug here. Okay, I've decided I really don't want this power bank on the floor because I actually use this bottom area as a storage pit for all my camera gear. So I'm going to mount this up underneath the desk. My only worry is that it's quite heavy. I'm hoping that some Velcro strips should be able to retain it. Uh, but all we can do is try. Okay, nice and tidy under there, and now I just need to tidy up under here, and we're going to now mount the USB hub and get all the cables ready for the monitor. Okay, so we've basically finished most of the setup. Uh, we are going to come back to it in a little bit, uh, but now we are going to clean up the absolute shit hole of this room. As you can see, it's all powered up behind me. I'm not going to show you too much because I intend to do another video um, on, on the whole setup itself. So I'm just going to run through everything that I've done really, really quickly. The USB-C port is rigged up there. We've got that port down there, all good to go. All the cables and everything are nice and neat back behind. We've got the Samsung hard drive down there obviously the LED strip. All these cables here 
are sort of hidden. So when you look at it from the front, you can see a little bit of a cable action there. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. And looking underneath the desk, I've just put the torch on my phone. This is really not the most flattering light, but as you can see, everything, all the adapters and everything are all like tidy up underneath there. There's a lot going on, but you know, I'm trying to make it as minimal as possible from above and uh, make it make it you know sort of nice and tidy underneath so the MacBook is stowed away just in this drawer here you've got the two USB-C cables one for the monitor and then one for this hub here and then this uh, USB-C cable for that hub down there Okay, finally the last thing to install, just to really make the finish the setup, is a Logitech pop button. This was really, really cheap on Amazon. It was only um, 12 pound, so I was just like, I'm gonna buy it and I'm just gonna pop it either, I don't know whether to put it just here or maybe somewhere else. Um, obviously I went for the gray because you know we're going for, for the gray for the gray look but I think I'm gonna try and like have it so the LEDs on the back here can turn on and off so I literally just hit a button here and it will cause them to turn on and off so we're just gonna I'm just gonna get straight into um, setting that up and then we'll go through each setting and what it will do uh, let's program the pot and simply press the center of the pot just once Just connecting. Oh look, your nose is bloody colour. Look at that. Okay, so I don't know how much memory I've got left now, but finally to finish it all off, uh, the pop is now working. So if I hold the pop here, there we go. So the back lights are now on and the down lights are also on. I'll be honest, the down lights aren't really doing a huge amount. Okay, so the setup is now finished. Instead of like walking you around the desk, I don't really see the point in doing that. I intend to do another video which should be uploaded like really, really soon. Um, and then we can do a walk for everything that I've got on the desk. Um, and um, maybe uh, that's, yeah, just try and make a, a, a really nice, really nice video and put some effort into it. This was more just like a walk through of like everything that I've done to make it um, how it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe um, and give it a like. Um, there's going to be loads more tech videos to come. Uh, I'm, I'm like a big fan of it and I think the main reason why I've done this was just because I really enjoy watching people set up videos and I just thought I'd give it a go myself. Um, yeah, so I think we're there guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video which will be the Dream Desk Setup 2018.